What's up guys, Hype BT here. Um, well, actually, it's no longer Hype BT, because I got recruited um, earlier this afternoon by Slash Snipers, so I'm now part of Slash Gaming um, and Slash Sniping, so uh, my new gamer tag from now on will be Slash Draw. Um, hope you like it, and yeah, that's about it really, just that's as far as an update goes. Um, with this tutorial, I'm going to bring you masking and um, map transitions because I had a couple of messages on people wanting to know about um, how I did the transition in Grizz's montage and stuff. And it's quite a basic transition, but um, obviously, if you don't know the technique, then you have to learn it here. But um, I've got my two clips here that um, I recorded in Black Ops. These were the clips that I used in Grizz's montage, and it's literally just all I did was went into spectator mode, found a bit with a wall in it, and all you do is just slowly move the camera along to create a pan in of the door, and just do exactly the same direction with the other clip, so it looks the same like this. Um, and basically, all we're going to do is cut the middle wall out of one of the first clip, um, and this one should just overlay behind it um, and create a nice effect which is like a map transition. Okay, so with the first clip, first thing you want to do with all your clips when you put them in Sony Vegas is disable resample. Okay, um, then the next thing you want to do is make sure the, you see these little black lines around the edges here that I got? You need to get rid of them and the easiest way to do that is to just dr drag this and it will zoom in the clip and zoom out. Um, I have a preset which is called YouTube HD, which I use on all of my clips, um, apart from if I've got wheel or some other effect that I've used and I need it smaller or bigger. But that's just you can just set a preset. Once you've shrunk it, just um, type your name up here and then hit the save button, and that'll save it for you. Okay, you want to do that on both your clips. Just just do it quickly so you're all set up ready. So I'll just quickly do that. Quick. Disable the resample. Okay, now we can get down to the masking. Now, the masking is really simple. All you need to do is basically, when it gets to um, about here, all we're going to do is cut off this section of the door along here, and all of this area will be black. And then, when we put this clip behind the image that we're looking at now, um, it will create um, a picture as if. Um, that it's part of the same map. So we want to go to hit event pan crop, which is this button here. Okay, and at the bottom left you'll see position and mask. You want to click on mask and tick the box. Okay, now as you can see, we're not actually at the door, so what you need to do is scrub along the clip until you get to the door when it comes in into shot, which is about. Uh, there, there's the corner of it, so we want to start it about here. Now the angle is important because obviously it comes down from a left to a right and then it will straighten up in the middle and then f uh, start angling the other way. So we need to actually move the mask when it comes along. But anyways, to create the mask you just click the little pen tool here to create, a, to create an anchor point. Click there and then you just want to roughly follow sort of the line of the door, you've got the rough edge there and then um, what we need to do let's go out a little bit more it's just, uh, no sorry I did that the wrong way um, okay because you want to you select what you want to keep I should have made that clear, so you want to select all around the outside of that so it's, it made no difference for the minute because we haven't actually entered the, the frame yet, but um, once we've created a, um, a few more frames, then it will work. So the next thing you want to do is click Normal Edit Tool, um, scroll along just as the door enters the frame in this right in this corner here. Now you want to shift click on the corner to um, give it to be able to to move the um, point around so you just you just hold shift and click on it um, and you'll be able to move it around okay 
Um, so now we want to get this level to the door in the same direction like this. Okay. Um, another thing that we need to do just before we go ahead, because otherwise we'll have to do this later, is sort out the feather. So all we need to do is click both and then just put it up to about uh, two pixels for the feather, or two percent. Um, and that'll just fade the edges a little bit to give it so it's not such a sharp sort of line between the two images. Okay, now we're going to scroll along about four or five frames and just literally move the mask along each time. Um, oh, I didn't shift click on that. Okay. I just make sure it's about level. Um, and then you just want to keep doing this, just move forward about sort of four or five frames each time. Just move this along. My computer's been really slow and laggy, but I'm just going to have to deal with that for a second. And just keep going until you've got a nice smooth transition. Now, I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to watch me mask it all. But as you can see on the right there, it's starting to create a black section. In this, uh, in the preview window on Sony Vegas on the right, it's creating a black section on here, which is exactly what we want. We want to see the black section because that that that's uh, that will actually be see through when we put the other clip behind it. So that'll be perfect. So you just want to keep going along, and I shall see you in a minute. Okay, hi guys, I'm back. Uh, right. So yeah, I've just masked all of the points here. Um, you can do bigger gaps if it takes too long because, like, as long as you keep the spectator steady when you record it for the first time, then you should just be able to just go along creating big gaps, and then the the mask should just be able to follow. It. But just try and keep the spectator spe steady, and then you you'll be able to. It'll make your lives easier in the future. So yeah, um, you just scroll through this. Then the mask will just follow the path that you set out for it. Um, and on the screen there on the right it will just show the mask working perfectly um, once you've done all that all you need to do is just um, close down event pan crop uh, and then you could you could just preview it if you want to I'll just preview it for you now so it shows up in the right here so that's just going to follow the, the line that we've created and that looks really nice so now the next step is to um, put this clip behind this one so what we need to do is, first of all, I'm just going to uh, uh, delete this audio because we don't need that. In fact, I could just delete the whole track. Um, and I'm going to insert a new video track. Drag this one behind it and drag this video down. Okay. Now, this now then, when you see the mask starting to come in uh, there, we can see the other map, which is exactly what we want. Um, now all you need to do now is just time the transitions of each. See, as you can see, the the jungle spectator is a lot faster than the hotel one. So all we need to do is slow down the hotel one. Now, by to do this, you just control. You press uh, go to the end of the clip or the start, depending on where it is. If you put it here, you can go to the start, and all you do is hold control and just drag it out and that will extend the clip. What we need to do is in the hotel one, if we just go to where it begins, which, oh, it's at the start already, I set that up. Um, so we need to go to the jungle one to where it starts, right. Uh, okay, so the jungle starts about there. Okay, so then we've got to do, drag this in, zoom in a bit, so we can see better. Drag it in about one frame. And then this is just gonna fade across. Okay, that's far too slow. Let's make that same again. Mm, it's nearly there, still a bit too slow. So we'll have to shrink that down again. Yeah, it's nearly there. Still slightly too slow. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So we get the gist. So it's going to fade in, fade across, and then the wall's going to appear halfway when it needs to, and it's going to fade into the map. And you see with the, uh, let me go to about here, you can, um, you can see like a distinct difference with the, uh, the lines between each clip. Um, the, the way to sort that is just all you need to do is go back into the event pan crop of this one. And it's a bit annoying, and we should have done it to start with, but you need to go to each clip and change, actually, you could uh, just select all the clips um, and just increase the feather of them. There we go. And all it's going to do is feather it more. And obviously, this is, this is really rough and quick, and I would take more time normally, but that's what it's going to look like, and the longer you spend with it the better it will look and I mean I'm quite happy with that because um, all I would do now is I would um, select the two clips like this either render them out or pre-render them um, put them in a new timeline um, go to event pan crop and create a little twist so it gives it more make it a bit more dynamic and create a, and just add a nice color correction to um, remove the also remove the line that will help take your eyes away from the distinctive line in the middle but um, I hope that helps with your masking questions and issues and that's about it for for, for that simple masking um, I did want to show you something else and hopefully it will fit in I'm just going to reveal these clips at the bottom this was another transition I did for DFib part 2 um, it was on Havana and it just I think it's Havana. Please don't hate if I said that wrong because I don't play Black Ops very much. But anyways, yeah, it's um, it's a transition where I, the camera just swoops up um, past the sign into the clouds, and then it would come down in the uh, stadium clip. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you this is to is because um, it's actually not that hard to create like a because. Uh, create a swooping camera that that comes into a certain point. All you need to do is go into spectator mode and f start where you want the clip to finish, and then fade it up into the clouds like I've done. So you do that, uh, and then all you need to just do is reverse the clip by hitting right uh, right click and then go to reverse, and all that's going to do is spin the clip round so it comes from the clouds down to the bit where you want it to go. And obviously this is really slow so all we're going to do is speed up both clips. Like the same in the resample. And I get this about there. So split that. Drag this one in. Same again, all your clips, YouTube HD, on all of them, and that's it. Now we just need to speed up the clips so they're really fast, and the map transition is really quick and exciting. It's a bit gay, but there we go. I'm not gay, just so everyone knows. So it's, all it's going to do is do a nice speed swoop up and then down into the position where you put it. My computer is really laggy and it's not working, but there we go. That's what it's going to look like. I hope you can see that in the pre-render window and it's going to fade down. See? It's a really nice, smooth transition, especially when you go up into the clouds because there's obviously not much, there's not much things to pinpoint, so you can't actually say, like, oh my god, there's that clouds in the shape of a sheep and now it's gone. But, yeah, it's just going to fade really nicely into the next clip. I can't even notice that that's faded, to be honest. That's a really smooth transition. And it's just going to come down and finish up where you want the clip to finish. So, say, if you've got, like, a, a cool kill or something at the end of this bit, which Grizz got, then that's where it's going to end, and it's going to fade into the next clip. But, anyways, I hope that was a short and helpful tutorial.
hope it was short. I don't, I didn't really keep track of the time, but if it did help you, then please like, because I do spend a lot of time sort of getting these tutorials ready um, and preparing myself for them and helping you guys out. Like, I like doing them because I like helping you people out, but it's a bit of a downer when you just get like ten dislikes on your video and you just spent loads of time sort of putting your effort into making them. But it's up to you. If you, if it helped you, then please like and leave a comment saying, wow, you're amazing. <laughs> no, don't do that. Well, you can if you want. But anyways, um, this has been Slash Draw for the very first time. And I shall see you later.